The Apple Family plays are about uh, a family in Rhinebeck, um, consisting of three sisters and a brother and an uncle that they're looking after. Each of the plays takes place on a historical day, um, and yet other things are being dealt with. Very personal family issues are being dealt with, but they take place on historical days. The first play, That Hopey Changey Thing, happens on the midterm elections in the year 2010. And the second play, Sweet and Sad, takes place on the 10-year anniversary of 9-11. And the third play, Sorry, takes place on election night, just, just last year, uh, the Obama-Romney election. And then this year's play will be taking place on November 22nd, on the 50th anniversary of JFK's assassination. All of these plays are, are, are so beautiful. I can't even begin to pick what my favorite one is. You can see each of them, and you don't even need to see them in order, particularly. Um, uh, there might be a certain satisfaction in seeing the sequence of plays, but they all do stand uh, on their own. These are people in their middle age who are dealing with um, midlife crises, uh, maybe changing jobs, maybe being dissatisfied with their job, uh, unfulfilled dreams. I relate to the plays mostly because it's about middle-aged people dealing with middle-aged concerns that I don't think are always covered um, so much in the, in the playwriting um, of our time. I think a lot of audience members relate to these plays because of the depth of exploration that we do on this subject, the simplicity of the presentation. Uh, we use a very naturalistic style. It's almost as if you were eavesdropping. In a way, uh, Richard Nelson, as the director, does not want us to perform these plays. It's almost as if you were a fly on the wall and you were uh, participating in a, in, a, in a family dinner uh, and you just happened to be there.